this. Is your 12 to 18 month old not saying many words yet? I'm gonna drop a super effective strategy for teaching your toddler new words. You're gonna wanna hear this. But first, I'm Mora. I'm a speech and language pathologist with Rooted in Language. And I'm also a mom of two little kids under age three. As parents, all we want is for our young toddlers to learn words. Yes, so they can begin to communicate with us and the world around them effectively. But also, you know, so they stop all the eh, eh, Anyone else in this boat? Just me. But learning words seems to happen quickly and naturally for some kids and not so quickly and naturally for others. And it's true, there's a wide range of normal, but guess what? You can help. To help babies learn words, I use a strategy that I call intentional verbal routines. And what are those? It's exactly what it sounds like. Intentionally targeting certain functional words within everyday consistent routines. Let me explain. To set up an intentional verbal routine, you must remember four words. Embed, emphasize, isolate, repeat. Step one, embed your target word into a simple routine. This should be something you already do or can do easily every day, multiple times a day. These are things like diaper changes, meal time, play time, bath time, nap time, book reading time, getting dressed, to name a few that probably sound familiar. Then we, step two, isolate the target word. This means don't bury your target word into long, complex language. Make it easy for your child to hear. Make it stand out. Ideally, make it the only word you say or one of very few words. Okay, don't panic, a demo is coming. Step three, emphasize the word in your verbal routine. Easy ways to create emphasis include use exaggerated intonation, you know, that parenty style of speech, that sing-songy up and down melodic pitch, slow your rate of speech and over articulate the word. Use that classic rule of three and say the target word three times in a row. The duck says quack, 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 or sing. You can literally put anything to music, especially if it's only a few repeated words and sing it over and over and over. Here's a few tunes you can put literally anything to. Log these away. I'm giving you a kiss. I'm giving you a kiss. I give a kiss, ma ma ma. I'm giving you a kiss. This is the way you wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. This is the way you wash your hands, wash, wash your hands. Up, up, up the stairs, up the stairs we go. Up and up and up and up and up the stairs we go. I do that last one every time my baby climbs the steps. Every time. I feel like I'm being judged. Okay, and the last step is to repeat this verbal routine as many times as possible each day and week. So here are a few examples of some intentional verbal routines I've built into my 12 month old's day. She's working on cruising right now. So when I practice with her, which is usually a couple times a day, I say step step, step, the same way every time. I've embedded the word in gross motor play. I've isolated the single word step. I emphasize it using intonation and the rule of three. And I repeat the word at least eight times a week or more in that routine. And she's currently imitating this word as we cruise. Here's a great example of my husband and baby doing a verbal routine while swinging. Targeting the word go using a stop, go, or ready, set, go verbal routine. Great functional words to target. Ready, set, Go! Yeah. Notice her approximation is really rudimentary. She says something like D for go. Count that. She is saying it independently, and while the repetitive routine certainly aids her knowledge of this word, she's attempting to use a word with meaning even though her articulation is super inaccurate. That's a step in the right direction. And finally, when it comes to learning words, don't expect immediate results. It may take days, weeks, even months for your child to begin saying the words you're targeting. It could be really fast, or it could be a slow trickle. But it usually follows a path like this. Toddler hears you say the word in their routine many, many times. Toddler begins to imitate you saying the word during the routine, joining in. Toddler finally begins to use the word independently, either to request you do the routine, which they've likely grown fond of, or in some other functional context. And then you, the parent, celebrate, preferably with whatever snack you've been hiding from your toddler. Don't act like you don't have them. And now, go do some speech therapy, my minions. Follow for more tips.